are live. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, quick update there. Uh, sadly, there's not going to be a press conference. Um, I think they canceled it. They were going to have members of the family. I'm sure they are going through a terrible time right now. Um, it was kind of weird how they worded it. It was, um, I can't find the message right now, but they said like, it was canceled, but uh, the members of the press are still welcome to come. So it was kind of weirded, um, odd. But anyway, uh, still going to go live because we go live on Fridays uh, a little bit earlier than I usually do. But uh, I thought we would just kind of go over all the stuff that we know, um, just in case if you missed any details. Um, before we get started, though, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Chris with Monsters Under Our Bed. We cover true crime, mystery to the missing. Uh, not only do we cover true crime, but we actually go out and help look for the missing. Um, and in approximately eh, about two and a half weeks from now, uh, in April 13th and the 14th, we're going to be going out looking for Aiden Clune. This is uh, a young man that went missing two years ago uh, in April of 2022. And uh, we went out looking for him last year. Uh, we did find some interesting clues, actually. Um, and it's quite possible he is out there. He went missing in Wales, Nevada, uh, just 19 years old. Anyway, uh, we're trying to raise some money for a new drone because my last drone, uh, we kind of put a lot of work in work with it and uh, unfortunately it broke so anyway if you can donate that would be great uh, we're trying to raise a thousand dollars we're like 80 percent of the way there um, but anyway when we do go out there uh, we'll bring you guys along for that trip so anyways that's in clune and if anybody uh, wants to join that search uh, here is the details and you can email me and I can send you uh, a copy of this um, I will probably post it on my community post uh, when it gets a little closer to the time. Um, so anyway, let's get going with the latest details. I'm sure most of you heard they did find Riley Strain's body earlier today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it here and uh, play some of the videos. One live at the scene, Alexander. Let me move this real quick here. And again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in. If you can, hit that like button. That really helps this channel. Um, like I said, uh, one of the things that we do is we cover like bigger cases. And then we try to, at the very beginning, show missing persons. Because uh, a lot of times there's, there's so many missing people. And unfortunately, not everybody can cover all their stories. And so I try to attach like some of these smaller missing person cases that sadly just don't get the same attention uh, to these bigger cases. That way, so when somebody watches this video, they'll see that missing person. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, some videos here. And what are you saying? Kelsey, right here off Ed Temple Boulevard, we just saw a medical examiner transport being escorted by Metro Police leaving the scene. And according to Sky 5, Mike Rose, our chief photojournalist, saw what appeared to be a body under a tarp. You can see here, it's the river is pretty far away, but this is where I believe Pilot J and some other companies have oil. Um, but we have seen a large police presence here. And if you can, let me in, in the chat, let me know how the volume is on this. Uh, and hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I was able to speak with a Metro Police officer who tells me that Riley Strain's parents were called here to this scene. Obviously, we are waiting on developments at this time. We are told the media will be briefed, yeah. but a lot of people across the country who've been following this story are waiting to know, is this Riley? Will his parents now Sounds have great. peace okay. or closure awesome. Thank you guys. from this? You can see there's an escort of officers who are still leaving this area. As soon as we have more information here in North Nashville off Ed Temple Boulevard, we'll make sure that we bring it to you guys on air and online. We're going to go ahead to a quick break and we'll have more right after that. Confirmed Riley. 
Good morning. We're joining you guys with terrible breaking news here by the Cumberland River. I'm joined by Jason Lamb. We're just now learning that the body found in the Cumberland River is confirmed to be Riley Strain, the missing University of Missouri College student. That's right, Alexander. We're just getting a look at the tweet from Metro Police that confirms this information. I'm just going to read this to you, sent out uh, just minutes ago saying the body of Riley Strain. So it was a little confusing uh, where they actually found his body because um, I kept seeing shots of, of this area and then another area. And then I realized this is uh, the only place that he could get access, to, uh, you know, because it's like it's a boat ramp right here. Uh, and he was found, you know, uh, further down river, which uh, they will show here in a little bit. But uh, this is where they used the boat ramp. But he was found uh, further down was recovered from the Cumberland River in West Nashville this morning, approximately eight miles from downtown. No foul play related trauma. No was body was in the water. An autopsy is pending. We're hearing from our Mike Rose, senior chief photographer up in Sky 5, that he's been able right. to spot yep. uh, Chief uh, Drake, Metro Police Chief Drake, here at the scene as well. We're going to be getting a lot more information, of course, now that the information is confirmed that this is the body of Riley Strain, a case that so many people mm -hmm. had been looking at and keeping track of over the last two weeks. And Jason, it's our understanding from a Metro officer on scene that his parents who have been here desperately searching for their son, they were called out to the scene. So family has been notified that he has been found. I mean, yeah. you went to the University of Missouri. All of us or a lot of us went on a college spring break where you go out. Yeah, well, show if you're if you're not familiar where they found the body uh the cameraman does fly over that area uh, like i said this area is where they launch uh is where they could launch the boat and then they had to go uh downstream to uh recover the body and then come back to this boat ramp here and you have fun and just having this tragedy happen here has just resonated with people across the country yeah it's like That's a right. barge so and many people had so many questions under a tarp how this happened what exactly happened where was riley strain um for as thank you low to uh 12 news is um at least it is bringing closure um to a lot of people not the least of which is the family that is just looking for answers and the mood here is somber there was a medical examiner who was trans Reporting what we believe to be was the body away from the scene. There's a large police presence here. We are waiting on an update from Metro Police with more information. Um, but I remember in the search efforts that his bank card was found down by the river. And ever since, you know, people have been desperately looking, coming in from all across the country. That's right. Uh, uh, the United Cajun Navy has been out here uh, looking at things, trying to assist in the search effort. I did just get an update from Metro Police on their Twitter account. It sounds like we're going to be getting more information about what happened here in this breaking news in about five minutes. Metro Police are telling us a media briefing will be held at 945. So I'm just going to pause it real quick because there's uh, about twice as many people uh, from when we started. If you're just tuning in, and uh, they said there was going to be a press conference uh, starting at 5 p.m. Central, which would be in 20 minutes from now. But uh, apparently they canceled it. Um, but it was worded weird. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, if I find the statement uh, after this video. But anyway, there's right now, as far as we know, there's no presser. Uh, but anyway, we're still going to go over all the details. Right where we are on Ed Temple Boulevard at the Exxon Terminal. Uh, Debbie uh, McCarthy, thank you so much for the $4.99 uh, Super Chat. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, that helps us get closer to uh, getting that drone, which uh, probably be getting that drone um, probably at the end of the month. So uh, let's see, it's 22nd, probably at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. Entrance. So we should be getting more information, more details from Metro Police very soon. So uh, this is uh, obviously where he... Uh, went in supposedly uh off gay street and the bridge right here and just kind of show you how far uh he went down so they say eight miles i mean if it's a straight line of course it's less than eight miles 
That's where he was found uh, off 61 for 61st Avenue. And the boat ramp that they used is upstream right here. So that's where kind of the helicopter was flying right there. You can see the boat ramp. Uh, but his body was found down river uh, off this uh, area here on 61st uh, Avenue. I know from working overnights here, a lot of the times the barge operators, and they scan the river. Um, it's really busy behind us, and you see several tanker trucks because we'll see Pilot J. This is where face a killer. bunch of, I guess, like, I know. containers are located. Some so it's strange cases, for sure. Spotted this body, but it's my understanding Mike Rose, he's in Sky 5 and has a better look at the river and the current. Um, Mike, what Thank can you, you tell Debbie. us from up in the air? Hey, good morning. Uh, so uh, pilot Jason Morgan and I are flying around kind of the uh, Bordeaux uh, area of the river. And I'm, I'm going to punch up sky map here where the initial call came in for the drowning is 1760. So they're saying this area right here. And actually, I've got a second video. Uh, and it's almost like I think it's like the same video. For some reason, this, the quality is like kind of poopy. I mean, it's still OK, but um do actually have a clearer version uh, where they're flying over this area and the other area and he actually kind of zooms in of course this is after they've recovered his body so you, we're not going to see anything you know uh, inappropriate uh, but this is supposedly uh, the area the 61st, 61st Avenue that's where uh, crews uh, first showed up and I, I just want to note we don't know this for sure um, but uh, what's interesting is you do have a lot of kind of industry along the banks of the river right here. Uh, there's barges parked, there's uh, terminals for offloading and unloading uh, material goods and everything like that. Uh, so, you know, there's a chance that perhaps, you know, an operator uh, discovered, you know, uh, a, a body somewhere around here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of widen out just to give you a and they did mention that, uh, that the workers that work along this river were obviously notified uh, to keep a lookout for Riley. Perspective of where this is, I'm going to take the sky map off the screen here. Uh, so you can see that this is the nations over here to my left. And we're going to uh, pilot the, uh, the chopper around, uh, back around to the right. So this is kind of the Bordeaux region. The all the barge traffic that's parked along the river right here is very common to see these barges parked along the river they're just kind of uh, staging for pickup or whatnot and as i pan the camera back around over here you can kind of see ted Rhodes golf course uh here's clarksville highway right here um when we got to the scene the uh fire and police rescue supported the body over to this little boat ramp uh this is like a fuel terminal right here uh, with uh, good access to the river. So this is, this is where, you know, uh, the, the, the body was uh, recovered right here at this ramp and uh, taken off to the medical, medical examiner's office. I'm going to tilt the camera up here. You can kind of see where uh, the press is kind of staging. And, uh, and also, I've got some footage uh, where they, because uh, uh, if you guys remember, and I think it was my last live, I was talking uh, when uh, the Navy was uh, on the boat and they were passing uh, by James Robertson Bridge, I was hoping they would get kind of a, a a nice back panoramic view of kind of where if someone fell over. And, of course, they were kind of filming, kind of like zoomed in. It wasn't the best picture. Anyway, I guess they kind of came back and they got a good panoramic uh, view of where he may have fell in and where his card was found. Uh, so we'll play that here in a bit too. Um, PayPal from Jill Downey. Thank you so much, Jill. I will check my phone here in a little bit. Um, uh, Jennifer Powell, thank you so much for the $2 super sticker. You were so awesome. Um, I'm going assuming here. we're gone at some point. Uh, the the uh, police chief will probably do some kind of media briefing. So that's kind of the view from Sky 5 up here again uh, with pilot uh, Jason Morgan. Yeah, I've news. got the better version of this. Um, it's a little bit later. Companies, concrete companies, all the businesses that actually are on the river. But thank you, PB. And they, uh, they look routinely, as it's happened countless times before, 
And as they moved, I believe, a barge, and don't quote me on that, they removed something from the river, and as they moved it, they noticed uh, Mr. Strain, so, and, ca and called it in. Uh, so there's uh, a picture, uh, obviously, of them uh, after they recovered him. And here is uh, that panoramic view from the river, uh, which I think is a good view, just kind of showing if he fell over. Because either he came and walked maybe over here, because his card was found here. Uh, so I'm assuming he may have flipped over this railing here. And I'm going to show reenaction. That's possible he may kind of fell like that. And then the card fell out. And maybe he tumbled uh, in. Remember the river was four feet higher than it is now. And then of course it was faster. We, we kind of looked up um, the uh, speeds of the river. Um, and I think it's normally four feet uh per second yeah four feet per second and that translates to two and a half miles per hour and it said uh during the time that he went missing that weekend uh it jumped all the way up to about approximately five miles per hour so it can double i guess depending on the weather which is pretty wild believe that his parents were told on Wednesday when they announced the Cajun Navy were going to be searching. Uh, welcome. I'm new here and really love the channel. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That was very sweet of you. Um, I said, we love covering true crime, but uh, I love going out and helping. And I'm a drone operator. And so that's... Uh, what we're going to be doing for Aiden Clune, and then we've got other cases. Aiden Clune's going to be the first case we work on see? this year, but there's going to be more. Um, how are we going to do this one? And here's just a, a look at yep. where they found his card. So it makes me wonder no. if he flipped no. over that where the kind of the more the huge drop was i'm sure we'll find more with the way. medical examiner report obviously i'm sure a lot of people are wondering about the toxicology report was he you know slipped something or did it was it just too much alcohol so i think that's going to be huge uh and then obviously uh if he had any injuries you know um obviously i'm sure you know, he hit his head on the uh, cement pole. Um, but it'd be interesting to note if he, you know, if he dropped that. I, I, somebody said that's like, looks like approximately a 50 feet drop, a 50 foot drop. I'm not sure. That's just what somebody local out there said um, from that area right there. Um, and I would think if you fell, because obviously you're not going to hit straight hit the river. Um, so it'd be interesting to note if he, you know, had like a shattered collarbone or, you know, uh, a broken arm or, you know, be kind of explain how, uh, hmm. if he did fall and it wasn't anything nefarious, Crazy. I'm sure, uh, any kind of injuries will, uh, tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way for him to just like accidentally go in unless unless he was stumbling around um i think there should be a lesson that uh lit up the having bars near bodies of water is dangerous the and they need to really make sure they have precautions fences barriers uh with any bars that are near water I'm gonna design a trophy for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just gonna fast forward this a little My bit to where they found the card. Well, I know the ones I saw up above, they would have like a couple 
spots with like old fire pits or something. Old spots they burn stuff. Let me know what well, you guys think in the chat. Do you think he flipped over that the big railing or did he kind of come around where he supposedly went in the bush and then maybe traveled? We gotta hang up. We gotta hang up the phone. Oh my god. No hesitation. Let me pull this up actually real quick here. Let me see if there's anything new real quick, uh, just in case, because it's almost on the hour. That's oh, a cute picture. I know, uh, oh, yeah, there's going to be a visual, vigil um, at 7 p.m. Central. Um... So yeah, the announced press conference for today has been canceled and will instead be handled. So yeah, this is where it's confusing. The announced press conference for today has been canceled and will instead be handled by MNPD. This is for invited members of the press as we understand. So I, I don't really understand that. Does that mean they're still doing something? If anybody knows in the chat, uh, please let me know. And if uh, anybody mods, uh, if you, we have like a link to something. But it's just kind of worded weird. Because it says this is for invited members of the press, as we understand. So, I don't know. That is kind of odd. Let me check Twitter here. So right here, is this where the drop is? Right here. So it's like either he went over this. So this fence, uh, she says, is about two to two and a half feet. Yeah, that's nothing. Especially for uh, a guy that's six foot, you know, six foot five. Um, this is maybe six feet from the walkway. Um, all, I, I'm reading her thing right here. All, and I'm sorry, you guys can't read it. Um, all that is between this and the walkway is some concrete circles designed to stop a car easily walked between a two foot section of the cobblestone and then this fence, then a 30 foot plunge. So she says 30 foot, somebody said 50. So somewhere in there, that's still, it's a big drop. 30 foot plunge into the Cumberland. His phone last pinged here. His debit card was found 10 feet or so to the left of this, what they say. We may never know what happened here, but it happened in less than two or three minutes. Could he have stopped to pee, catch his breath, look at his phone? Uh, let's see. Read more. But the existing evidence says he took a hard fall. And, and it's quite possible. I know there's still some people out there that think there may have been something nefarious. Uh, it, it, it's possible. I'm sure toxicology report will be huge. And then uh, whatever injuries he may have had. It's happening now. Uh, it's three minutes. Do we have a link? Uh, let me go to Facebook here. Anybody has a link, if, uh, if you can let me know. Channel 4 News? Okay. Let me turn this down real quick. Uh, is that it? 
Oh, here we go. So there's the tweet. I'm not sure if this one is it. Um, find out here in a second. WSM channel four. Okay, that's where I'm at. It says we'll be right back. I'll leave that up. Do we know, uh, is it the YouTube, do they have a YouTube channel? Uh, what is it, where, uh, WSN, WSN. Was it on YouTube? The presser is on. Uh, if anybody can get me an email link, uh, one of the mods. Okay, so I'm, all right, this might be it. <laughs> Fox Nashville YouTube, Fox Nashville YouTube. There we go. Okay, thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. That everybody We can just go back. Oh, it's only it we just missed three minutes. Okay. Thank you guys. Andrew, you can come around here if you want. That's so weird. Why did they say canceled on it? I'm going to just go full screen, guys. And then okay. I'll get to I've the chats after. I've already why you. we're here and what's going to happen. I want to start by uh, expressing our police department's very deep sorrow over the finding of Riley today. And we are with his parents. I think they know that. And we'll continue to be with them in the days and weeks ahead in our thoughts and prayers. I want to start this afternoon by introducing Riley's father, Ryan Gilbert. Uh, thank you all for being here. And those of you that help us keep Riley's face in front of the cameras, um, you've helped us get some closure here and let us take our boy home. Um, I got a lot of people to thank, and I'm sure I'll forget somebody. Uh, you won't be forgotten. I'll, I'll remember you. The whole family will remember you. But uh, uh, I want to first thank the uh, NMPD for their efforts. They've had a lot of sleepless nights on this case as well. Uh, can't give them enough thanks. Uh, really appreciate the work they've done. The United Cajun Navy has come in to assist them. Uh, they've they've done a lot of a lot of work on the water and land for us. Uh, came in and gave structure to this investigation on our side of it, and helped keep things lined out. Uh, Dave Flag here with the United Cajun Navy. They've been a great asset great asset to us. Um, the individuals in the area that have come in contact with us that have helped us. Uh, with numerous things, gathering supplies and uh, taking care of stuff like that, putting up flyers and whatnot.
the Ward family for all their work. Uh, they put up a ton of flyers around town. They've been making phone calls. They've been assisting us in any way they can. Um, all the people that have donated items to them that they've got to us throughout this whole ordeal. All the people back home in our own personal lives that have been there to support us and our family at home as well. Uh, thank you for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. We can't say enough to all of you. Thank you. Oh, I wanted to mention uh, also uh, Gary and or Skip, Skip, right. Skip Butler uh, come in with the airboats. Uh, we've been on the water for a few days with those guys. They've been uh, they've been great to work with us. We can't appreciate we can't thank them any more than it's just unbelievable what they've done for us. Most of you are familiar with seeing my face by now. I'm sure we're all ready for it to be over with. It's been an emotional roller coaster. We're quite thankful for everything that you've done for our family. The grace that you've given us, it means a lot, more than you'll ever know. We have learned through this ordeal that everybody has brought all the good to us. We've had a little bad. You're going to have that. But it has given us faith in people that sometimes gets clouded by what we're constantly hearing. We're extremely thankful for all the volunteers that have shown up, given us their time, their effort, their energy, very little sleep they've gone on. Our family, we can't thank our family enough for all the support that they've provided us, for all the, you know, time spent, the love, the energy. Our friends that we consider family that aren't able to be here but have been at home caring to everything that we can't take care of, thank you. To the people of Nashville, I can't thank you enough for the support, the love, the encouragement that you've shown myself and my wife and Ryan and Millie. You don't understand how much that meant to us in some of our darkest hours. The hugs, the prayers, the offers. I can't say it enough. Thank you. To the Nashville Police Department. We know this hasn't been easy. We've tried to handle it with as much grace and poise as we can. It's hard. It's never quick enough when it's your, your family member. Like I told everybody numerous times, if he was two blocks away from us and they were walking him to us, it wasn't quick enough. We want him two inches in front of us. So thank you for everything that you've done for us. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. I just want to reiterate um, how thankful we are for everyone and how much we appreciate everyone's support and love and prayers because we feel them. We have felt every one of them, every single one. I just ask that you mamas out there hug your babies tight tonight, please. Please for me, just hug your babies tight tonight. And again, thank you. Thank you for sharing our story. Yeah, I'm not going to take a lot of time. Most of what I would say would just to be to echo what's already been said. Outside of that, I would like to extend my thanks to the media community here and uh, the national media community who far and uh, by large has been very gracious and very respectful, respectful of the situation. Um, it's something that has not frequently been encountered in these situations in my experience. Um, as far as the Cajun Navy goes, since this is going to be a, a more or less a short 
interlude if there is any interest in it we would be happy to uh, hold another meeting with the press and it will likely be tomorrow sometime um, best place would probably be the public park where we first met and you can let me know afterwards if there's interest in that we'd be happy to help you thank you Oof. Yeah, that was tough. Oh, that mother. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, let me get this. Okay. What a strong family, though. Uh, amazing. Out there from day one. Um, so glad that they get answers. Uh, there's a lot of times, there's so many families out there that still don't have answers. Uh, just like... Uh, Aiden Clune, uh, the family that uh, we're trying to help uh, next month, uh, her mother, Amy Clune, uh, we've had her on the show, uh, I think twice, uh, amazing lady, um, and uh, unfortunately she still doesn't have answers, so hopefully maybe if Aiden Clune, uh, for those who know who I'm talking about, uh, who went missing in Wells, Nevada two years ago, uh, which we're going to be going to help uh, April 13th and April 14th um, if he's out there hopefully uh, we can find him because the last time we went out there we did find some clues uh, and we know he was out there we just don't think it's possible that he didn't make it back to uh, the highway and made it out anyway back to this story um, yeah, so here is the area that we were just talking about that he, uh, it's quite possible he fell over um, to a uh, 30 to 50 foot uh, fall and then uh, the card would have probably fell out uh, either from his shirt pocket or his wallet, or not his wallet, I mean uh, one of his other pockets. Uh, and then uh, with the river being uh, approximately, they said, four feet higher, um, he would went in and then the uh, river was a little bit faster over that weekend um, but again we'll just go over just a little bit more of where he was found uh, but here's another picture so there's the uh, that railing that we were just looking at right here I know it's a little bit far um, and they said that he was last seen kind of by the bushes over to the right, which that area has more of kind of a, a, a steep embankment where where this uh, the wood is here. Uh, it's just kind of a that, that drop, and then a little bit of uh, shore, and then um, then the river. So I don't know. Maybe he got really did. Maybe after he threw up. Uh, tried to continue to walk um, and then stumbled over this for some reason. Maybe he tried to grab this to balance himself. And with that being two to two and a half feet, um, you know, us tall guys, uh, something that's two and two and a half feet, um, he would try to kind of lean down to grab. And I could see if he tried to bend over in any way, because uh, again, I've said this many times. I'm six foot three, so I'm two inches shorter than him, but uh, tall like him. And 
we have, you know, the taller we are, the less center center of gravity gravity we have. So uh, when we fall, we fall hard, sadly. Which bridge is that? This is the James Robertson Bridge. Uh, this is basically where, I mean, uh, he was last seen. Uh, they had more footage uh, that we haven't seen after the officer where he's still walking this direction. Uh, they said that uh, the last time they saw him was by, uh, there's like a yellow sign on the other side here. I could go to Google Earth. It'd probably be better. Um Oh, let me out here. Get in here real quick. But, uh, you know, we had the officer body cam over here. Here's uh, Woodland Bridge, you know, and he's last seen walking this direction. Uh, then they said there was another camera somewhere up on, like, this building or something, somewhere up here. Uh, and they were able to see him walk all the way to at least this sign right here, this yellow sign. And that all adds up. Uh, and then you have the one guy that was interviewed said he was last seen, uh, uh, that he f pr fell in the bush and threw up. And then, uh, Assuming maybe he continued traveling and if it wasn't nefarious activity, uh, maybe continued walking and then maybe uh, was dazed and then tried to maybe grab himself uh, to support himself on that railing there. Uh, and like I said, it's really low. Uh, so you'd have to kind of like bend over and maybe he just flipped over uh, and that was it. Uh, but that's yeah they yeah that's the thing is so they say six foot seven but then they have chris uh the family friend say six five so it, somewhere in there six five six seven uh really tall um but yeah either way uh it sounds like that's the most likely scenario obviously i'm sure many people are, are uh, curious about the toxicology report especially if uh Depending on how many drinks he had. Uh, we'll look at... So this is the better footage here. I'm just going to turn this down because that's kind of annoying. Uh, so I can get to chat. So here is where his body was found. And they're going to actually swing back and zoom in on this. Now keep in mind, when they're flying this helicopter, they've already recovered the body. Uh, the body, uh, when he's flying, um, and he, he'll come back you'll see that they've already uh, are at the dock um, or at the boat ramp, I should say, which is in the other direction. He's kind of actually going further downstream, but they're going to turn around here in a minute. Um, but yeah, he, we'll, he'll zoom in on where uh, the body was uh, found and then they'll fly further down where the boat ramp is. And then, of course, you can see that... Uh, they, they have him in the, the body bag. Um, so I'm just going to get to donations real quick. Uh, real, uh, I don't forget anybody. Um, NFT, uh, thank you so much for the $13.99 uh, Canadian. Thanks for your coverage. Donation for the drone. Sad, sad news. Rest in peace, Riley. Thank you so much. Um Justice for Baby Dior. That's another case we worked on. Little Baby Dior. Um, man, an odd case that's still unsolved. Um, and, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much. Hugs to his parents. Yes, thank you so much, Justice for Baby Dior. Jennifer Powell with the $2. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, and now I think he's going to fly over. So here is the alleged area that he was found. Uh, they're going to zoom in here. Uh, walkie talkie, my heart breaks for loved ones and volunteers. Um, thank you so much for the dollar ninety nine. So yeah, right here, I guess. Somewhere. 
somewhere in here they mention a tarp and a barge so um and maybe we'll get more details uh further down the road uh low 12 uh that's one of my lucky numbers uh thank you so much for becoming a member and supporting the channel naomi good to see you do you go live uh, do you go live when boots on the ground? I'm new. I do if there is service. A lot of the times that I've gone, uh, cases I've worked on are have been like in the middle of the desert. So there's like no service, like Dylan Rounds we've worked on. Uh, Aiden Clune, kind of the same situation. There is a little bit of service in certain spots. If you know, there's a chance uh, I'll go live. I will. Um, but mainly, I, I'm going to go out there, obviously, operating the drone. And we're going to be getting uh, a really nice drone that can go fly for miles, um, which is going to be huge. Uh, Gail Hurd, good to see you. I hope you're doing well uh, for the drone fund. Thank you so much. Oh, did you donate twice? It looks like you did. Uh, another $20. I don't know if that just kind of doubled up. Again, thank you so much, Gil, if you sent $220. Uh, Gil Hurd gifting one mob crew membership. Oh, it's like doubling. That's kind of weird. Uh, if you did do two, thank you so much, Gil. And Debbie Olander with the $5 for your drone funds. Thank you so much. I think we're just about there. Uh, and Wallflower, thank you so much for the $50 super sticker. That is so awesome. And if anybody donated through PayPal and Venmo, thank you so much. I will see if I can look at it when we get a chance. Anyway, um, I think he flew past the boat ramp, didn't he? I was kind of looking at the chat here. But again, here's the boat ramp. They have the, the body there. Obviously, it's in a body bag, so there's nothing graphic. Um, I forget what time they said they found him. Was it like 6.30 or 7.30 this morning? Uh, their time, central time. I believe that's around the time frame that they found him. If I'm wrong on that, please let me know. Everybody always asks me, any updates on Dylan Rounds? I think James Brenner has some kind of court hearing. Um, if there is an update, uh, you can guarantee I will definitely uh, be there to cover it for sure. Um, and we may go back out to look for Dylan Rounds. Uh, I think we have a pretty good idea of where he's at, but unfortunately... Uh, that situation um, it's tough because they believe he could be in a wash which is kind of if you don't know what a wash is it's just kind of like a dried up stream but it's more like a, a mini canyon if that makes sense I mean you could almost say this is kind of what, what a wash would be except it's all dirt um, but anyway they, they believe it's possible he could be in a wash that's like five miles long so it's got two sides and he could have been uh placed against the wall and then they just kicked dirt off the one of the walls of the wash because the wash is always uh just deteriorating and it would just naturally slowly cover the body and so uh it, it'd be quite the mission to actually get him out um so I'm going to check Twitter here and see if there's anything else. Gosh, that's, oh man, it's so tough to see uh, the parents do that. Okay, so they just reposted that. Um, anyway, let me check Twitter here. What's this? Other footage released afterward. A statement from the bar said Strain was told to leave for violating its conduct standards. Okay, I think that's that might be a little old. 
just gonna refresh Twitter real quick here. Okay, nothing new that we didn't know. Um, so wait, let me uh, finish up, and then uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the stuff that's upcoming that we're going to be covering. Uh, and of course, we'll keep an eye if we hear, you know, uh, about the uh, toxicology and the medical examiner's report. We'll of course uh, cover that. Naomi, for your drum drone fun, good luck. Thank you so much, Naomi. Uh, that is so awesome. Is so Riley the only child? I can't remember. Does anybody know in chat? I, I want to lean towards yes, but I'm not sure. Yes, Elijah Vu. Because that's what we're going to probably cover um, either Saturday or Sunday. Obviously, they found his blanket, which is huge. Oh, 7.28 a.m., so yeah, about 7.30 uh, thank you, Karen. Um, LWM uh, Modeling. Former law enforcement search and rescue drone pilot here. Oh, shoot. Right on. Would love to get my hands on a G DGI M308 for searches. Ooh. I'm not even sure. M308. See, I'm going for the Mavic Air 3, I believe it is. Um... But yeah, that sounds serious. Um, and the one I had before was a Phantom 4, which was really amazing. But um, unfortunately, we, we kind of beat it up because uh, we used it a lot, uh, especially in high winds. And uh, it kind of broke one of the uh, part of the propeller, unfortunately. Uh, uh, um. He has two siblings. Okay. Now that you say that, I think I do remember hearing about that. And yeah, that's got to be hard for them. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay. If I did, sometimes it doesn't pop up when I look. So. Yeah. All right. We're seeing two different things. I think he did have siblings. Now, now thinking about it. Yeah. Um, anyways, guys, um, if you can, before you go, if you haven't already, please uh, hit that like button. Um, can someone update, please? Uh, yeah, just a quick recap um, before we go, if you if you missed it. I'm not going to play everything. I'll just play. Um... So basically, oh, let me go back right here. So Riley obviously went uh, into the river around the Gay Street here. And his body had to have traveled eight miles downstream. Uh, the river flows north. Uh, so this is downstream. And his body was found, uh, they said, under a tarp and also near a barge. Uh, as you can see, all these little... Uh, things on the water a lot of them are barges and then there's this uh, boat ramp here which they use to go downstream uh, to recover the body and then come back uh, to the boat ramp uh, he was found uh, approximately 7 30 central time their time uh, early this morning of course now They'll do uh, a medical examiner report, autopsy, toxicology, and then for those that are wondering if he was possibly drugged, of course, we'll uh, find out. So with that, um, I just want to mention this one more time. Um, we're going to be looking for Aiden Clune uh, in about two and a half, I think it's about two and a half weeks. April 13th, April 14th. Uh, it's about three hours from where I'm at. And um, we're going to be searching kind of in this mountain range where he went missing. 
Um, and anyway, we've been raising drone funds, and I think we're just about there. And I'm going to get me a uh, Maverick Air Air 2 or Air 3, uh, which is a, a really good drone. Mavic uh, is a, a really good brand. So, and if anybody is near uh, Utah, Nevada, around this area, and you would like to join, um, I will post more details uh, in the upcoming weeks before uh, we go out. If anybody else wants to go out there, so yeah, I I'm sure we'll maybe find out. I'm curious about if you had head in, head injury. Yeah, if you had a concussion along with, uh, you know, either. Uh, too much alcohol and or if he had drugs in his system uh a terrible combination so i i do appreciate everybody taking the time to uh come in i other thing is i just want to say thank you to the mods uh you know it's not easy when we have over a thousand people in here and everybody has been amazing in here so thank you so much that makes the mods uh makes their job easier so I do appreciate it. Um, I will be back on, if not Saturday, Sunday. I've been kind of going every other day usually, uh, unless something major um, happens. But yeah, Elijah Vu uh, is probably what we're going to be uh, focusing on next because uh, they're still trying to look for poor little Elijah. Um, I still haven't. As far as I know, they still haven't found him. He went missing uh, near Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Uh, they found his shoe at the beginning. Um, and then they found a blanket. Uh, it's been about five days, maybe. Five, seven days. They found the blanket that uh, I suppose he had. Um, I forget how many miles away from the home that he was last seen. Anyway, if you haven't heard the story, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, I do have videos on it if you want to check it out. So with that, I am going to head out. Uh, again, thank you so much to everybody. You guys are amazing. I wouldn't be able to go out and search for the missing if it wasn't for you guys. Um, I know not everybody can donate. Just being here, hitting the like button, commenting, um, supports this channel. So again, thank you guys so much. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we will see you guys very soon.